Friday the 13th, push workout this morning. Lightweight, overhead press focus. So just wrapping up my, my uh, final working sets on the overhead press right now. Feeling good. Yeah, I gotta say my energy levels the last day or so have just been tanked. Yeah, it's been rough. It's been a rough couple days. I'm really looking forward to a refeed day on Saturday. Today I might have to drop the volume down a little bit, just take some sets off of my my secondary movements and my isolation movements just because I just have no energy. Yeah, I'm just really tanking right now. But uh, you yeah, know, the weight's coming down right on track. Strength is still maintained on the core lifts are still maintaining the strength. That's what's most important right now on these big four. These big four core lifts keep focused on the strength there to maintain that muscle mass and then not grind myself to pieces on the rest of the workout. So that's the plan. I'm gonna get back into this. Got a day off from work today. It's a travel day. I'm heading to Maine for the weekend. Got some family business to take care of. So I had to pack all my food and get ready for the travel this weekend, which is always a challenge, especially when you're when you're in a, a deep cut like I am right now. So I'll probably vlog that a little bit, show you how I pack for traveling and how I still hit the macros and everything while on the road. And at, uh, I'll be staying with the family, but uh, yeah, I'll be bringing all my food. I'll show you how I do all that later. packing up now let me show you how I how I do this this is gonna be a six or seven hour drive to Maine so I gotta pack for the drive and then I'll buy food when I get there is usually how I do it if I'm flying I'll do the same thing I'll usually freeze my food if I'm flying that way it can unthaw in the suitcase in a cooler while the planes in the air but since this is just a relatively short drive we're gonna do it all with my six-pack bag now I'm not sponsored by six-pack bags at all, but I highly recommend them because they make life so much easier when you're on the road. So I've got I've got two of them, right? I've got a messenger bag, which is what I'm gonna use this time around because I only need food for a few hours. So I've got my regular meals here. I've got my vitamins for the morning. I'm only gonna stay two days, so I've got two days worth of vitamins. Throw a shaker in there, and it allows me to store everything in there. Also my laptop, where everything will go right in there too. All right, here's kind of my overnight bag here too. I always pack my supplements a little bit. Again, I use a lot of BCAAs, especially when I'm cutting. So I've got my energy, which I'll use on the road instead of energy drinks. I've got my regular BCAAs that I'll have between meals. And in here I've got creatine, I've got glutamine. So I always have, I have those two every day. So I brought a little uh, travel size of those too. If I was going on a longer trip, I'd bring more, but again, this is just a short one. So I'm just bringing kind of the bare essentials. Doing some outdoor cardio today, some low intensity, just walking around in the park here. It's finally warm enough to do so. Got my partner here. He's taking his first trip out in the world. He was born in the winter time. He hasn't been outside at all. So we'll finally get to spend some time in the great outdoors. Good morning, Saturday morning here, doing some cardio at my daughter's house here in Maine. We're really lucky she's got a great setup here an awesome house i'll show you the view she's got a good gym setup and she's got one of the same arc trainers that we have at our house so i'm able to stick right to my routine which is great you know traveling it's always important to find a gym find something where you can maintain your routine or as close as you can sometimes you just have to go into maintenance and that's okay if you have to make do with a hotel gym that's what it is that's what i've done many many times but the most important part is stay into the diet Today's a refeed day, so we're gonna have some uh, protein pancakes after this, have the family over, and uh, cheat a little bit, have some fun while I'm here, and take care of some business, and probably head back this evening. So a real short trip, but I've been able to stay right on top of my food. Didn't weigh myself, because I don't wanna weigh myself on a different scale. I wanna keep everything consistent, so I'll weigh myself tomorrow when I get back home. But I uh, tracked my macros, ate foods that I could track the whole time, Stopped at a rest stop after I ran out of food last night. I just had a uh, turkey sandwich on wheat, uh, fruit salad, and some uh, low-fat potato chips. So all stuff I could scan and log and stayed right where I needed to be. So I'm going to wrap this up, do some abs. 
some posing practice, and then go have some nice protein pancakes. You, not bad, huh? Out over the lake. Here's their gym setup. Nice spot. All right, headed back to Connecticut. I'm about halfway through the drive right now, about three and a half hours left till I get home. Going through pretty much all my food. I still got some chicken breasts that I got saved and some fruit. My daughter was nice enough to let me get into some of her chicken breast that she had prepped for herself. And we all meal prep in the family, so she shared some of hers so I have it for an evening snack. But just uh, just stopped to get my cheat meal for today because today is a refeed. And instead of doing a full-on carb load and tracking, I uh, got a big junk meal here. So let me show you what I've got here. Number one is the Starbucks white chocolate mocha. I did get the fat free to at least limit the damage a little bit. And then I got the old oatmeal cream wicked whoopie pie. I love whoopie pies. They're like my favorite. Next to the Cadbury cream eggs, the mini eggs, whoopie pies are my true vice that I just, I love them. So I'm gonna sneak this in as my cheat meal and then we'll get back on track tomorrow. But I had a good visit with the family. I was here for a funeral, so that was pretty, you know, it's an unfortunate way to see everybody. But, you know, we had the reception, had some finger foods there. I've kept the diet in check this whole trip up to this point. Now I'm just going to splurge a little bit with this whoopie pie and this coffee and enjoy it and not feel guilty about it. I did do 30 minutes of cardio this morning, pretty high intensity, plus my posing and my abs. So I have been still keeping on the same routine, so this shouldn't do much damage. And I feel good about conditioning wise, and I plus I feel like I just need it mentally. You know, I, I really hit the wall last week, so I'm really hoping that this big dump of sugar and carbs will help boost my mentality back up. But anyway, I'm gonna get back to driving. I got a good audio book. I got Grant Cardone's 10X I'm gonna listen to. I'm gonna finish that up on the way home, and we'll catch you guys later.